Uh, hello, so let us look at some uh, review questions on trick graphs. For the first one, what is the amplitude uh, of the function? Amplitude is from the middle. So when you look at it, the middle is right over here. Okay, so 4 seems to be the middle. But how much are you going up or down? And you can see that you're going up and down by 2 units, so our amplitude will be 2. Let us look at number two. What is the amplitude? Uh, amplitude in the sine and cosine function, what you have to do is you have to look at the number in front of sine. Since 2 over 3, absolute value of 2 over 3 would have been your amplitude. What is the period? How do you find the period? You see, when you have y equals a sine of bx, the period is equal to 2 pi over b, where b is the frequency. If b is negative, then you can put the absolute value. If the b is not negative, then it's okay. So 2 pi over b becomes your period. Then what's, uh, what is the value of b? It seems to be 3, so we get 2 pi over 3 seems to be our answer, which is choice 4. Number 4, what is the period? Same thing here. Even though we have minus pi, but that doesn't matter. What is the coefficient? of x. That's one-third. So here we get period must be 2 pi over b, which is one-third here. And you know that this is equal to 2 pi times 3, which is equal to 6 pi. And 6 pi seems to be our answer for number 4. Number 5, okay. Uh, the sea dragon, uh, the pendulum ride, uh, at the amusement park moves and then basically they give us uh, this information where t represents the time in seconds. How many seconds does it, take to, uh, does, does it take the pendulum to complete one full cycle? This basically means we are looking for period. Then how do you get the period? It is same thing 2 pi divided by coefficient of t which is pi over 3. When you divide by fraction, that same thing as 2 pi times reciprocal, which is 3 over pi. Then you can see that pi pi cancels out. Our final answer becomes 6. Choice 2 becomes the answer. Number 6. Which equation has a period of, of 4 pi? You see, if the period is 4 pi, then we can try to get the frequency. Because frequency is the uh, value b. Now, how do you find the frequency? It's a 2 pi over period. But in this case, the period, uh, period is 4 pi. So 2 pi divided by 4 pi becomes 1 half. And then, so I'm looking for something that has 1 half as coefficient of x, which is choice 1. Now, what is the maximum value? You see, this is a little bit tricky. Uh, I know that amplitude is 3 because it's in front of sine, the coefficient of sine. So we're going to go up and down by 3. But from where? From 1. So then uh, our maximum will be 4 because from 1, if you go up by 3, then we'll get 4. Number 8. What is the maximum value of f of x? Same thing here. Now we're going to measure from c, whatever the c value would have been, but we are going up and down by 2. So our maximum value would have been c plus 2, because from c you're going up by 2. So therefore the answer would be c plus 2. Now, uh, when you have negative sign in front of sign, that means instead of things becoming positive, so it has been negative first. So normally, we would have had a graph that goes up this way, but now it's going to be this way. Right, right uh, after the y-axis, we have to go down. Which one is it? It's going to be choice this way. Don't get confused because this one is actually coming down this way. Now, uh, in this case, we need to find the equation of the uh, graph. Notice that we are going up and down by 1, so the coefficient has to be 1. That means number 4 is out. And you can see that this is a cosine curve. And if I were to sketch it in this manner, you will realize the halfway point was pi. Then full, we're going to get 2 pi. 
You see, how many cycles of, or how many cycle or cycles of cosine do you have within two pi? We only have one, so therefore, our answer has to be choice one, cosine of x. Notice that in front of x we have one as the coefficient. Number eleven. Which graph represents the complete one cycle of sine of 3 pi x? You see, the fact that we have 3 pi x, what is the period? Period is 2 pi over 3 pi. We get 2 third. 2 third is a full uh, period. Now, then I see 2 third over here. But the thing is, from 0 through 2 third, we, we only see half of the sine curve, not the whole thing. That means in in this case, question number th uh, choice number three, from uh, zero to pi one pi over three, we only see half of them. That means if you have to continue further, it will at uh, two pi over three. So therefore, our answer will be choice three because our period was two pi over three, and that's how it's going to finish on number three. Number twelve. Now this is a little bit tricky because we have. Uh, a graph that looks like a secant or a cosecant, and many of you guys might be wondering what to do. Then in that case, simply get the reciprocal. About 1, if you sketch the uh, original graph, the graph that it would have been, we'll end up getting a graph that goes this way. So simply flip the uh, uh, current graph that's being shown over here. And then notice that vertical asymptote is equal to 0 when you get the reciprocal of it. Then purple graph looks like sine. That means what is the reciprocal of sine? It will be, that's right, cosecant. So our answer will be choice one, cosecant of x. Similarly, how about this one? Whenever you have the vertical asymptote, original function would have had a, a zero here. So then it would have been something like this way. And then, so what I'm doing is I'm getting the reciprocal of the flip about 1 and negative 1. Then I, I get to see graph that looks like, uh, looks like this way. What is the curve? That curve looks like cosine. So that means reciprocal of cosine becomes secant. So we get choice 3 becomes the answer. Now, number 14. Here, uh, within 2 pi, how many cycles do you have? I have one cycle and I have another cycle. So I have two cycles. Then I'm, I'm looking at sine of 2x, which is choice 1. And it makes sense because I'm going up and down by 3 as well. Here, within 2 pi, what do I have? I see two cycles of cosine. So I'm looking at 2 cosine. And then choice 3 is the only one that seems to be correct. And then notice that I have negative sine. That's why I start from the bottom instead of from the top. Number 16. The graph below incorrectly represents the equation of y equals 2 cosine of x. Now, in this case, the reasoning is from the given equation, amplitude should be equal to 2. But what I see is the amplitude is simply 1. From the middle, I'm going up and down by 1 unit. So that's why this uh, graph is not correct. Because there is a mistake take on amplitude. All right, number 17. What is the equation of this one? Notice that it starts on 2. Since the 2 is the middle of that graph, and then we know that uh, midline is 2. So we're going to have our equation is y. Oops. Our equation is y equals, and then we have plus 2 at the end. But when you're looking at plus 2, and then look, it looks like a sine graph. So, and then, uh, so we have sine over here in the middle. But notice that I'm going up and down by one unit. So from two, I'm going up unit, or up one unit, down one unit. So I, I know the coefficient of sine will be equal to one. But notice that how long did it take? My period was pi, meaning it took me one 
pi to finish one cycle. So that means, since period is pi, what is the frequency? Which will be equal to coefficient b is 2 pi over pi, because 2 pi over period. Then we know that to be equal to 2, so uh, since b is equal to 2, I know that the equation would have been sine of 2x plus 2. All right, so now here, uh, we need to sketch uh, these two functions for cosine of x. So uh, I'm not sure if you can see better or not. Uh, that's the x-axis. That's the y-axis. Now, 4 cosine of x, that means I have to start with 4. And then let us assume that every two uh, boxes are uh, pi over 2. Then uh, cosine of pi over 2 would have been equal to 0. And next one would be going down. Next two boxes, I'm going to come up. The last two boxes, I'm going to come up this way. So I know that the graph goes down this way. Like that. But the thing is, they want me to sketch it from uh, uh, negative pi to pi. So I know that this would have been pi, uh, 2 pi. Then this would have been pi. So then I'm going to just erase this portion. Now, then let's look at the other side. Since the graph would have continued in this manner, so uh, I just have to copy this, what I, what I have on the right side, on the left side as well. So here I get two points right over here, and then right over here. So we get that's equal to negative pi. Now, but what our second uh, equation is y equals 2. So y equals 2 would have been right over here, which gives us two points right over here, two points of intersection. Then what are those two points of intersection? So all I have to do is simply uh, set it up for cosine of x would have been equal to 2. How can I get that? Divide by 4, we get cosine of x is equal to 1 half. Then when do you have cosine is equal to 1 half? That's right. Yes when x equals 60 degrees, but in radian mode, it will be pi over 3. Now, that means the first point here is five, uh, pi over 3, but the other side would have been pi over 3 as well by the symmetry. So we know that when the x is greater than or equal to negative pi over 3, and less than or equal to pi over 3, we know that during that time, cosine function is greater than 2, or 4 cosine of x is greater than 2. All right, so that's how we can do number 18. Let's go for number, uh, number 19. They want us to sketch uh, 3 sine of 2x. Then when you look into this one, what is the period? Period is 2 pi over b, in this case 2 pi over 2, which is equal to pi. So that means I'm going to finish up one cycle within pi. And then I'm going to go up and down by 3 units. So I, here I have... If I have to just use uh, this one as my starting point, and then I'm going to assume that I'm going to go by 3 units, while this is pi over 2. Then next, uh, pi over 2, which means when, uh, when I'm reaching a pi, I'm going to come back. No, actually, sorry. It, uh, it's not pi over 2 yet. So let me try to just uh, finish this cycle first. And you can see that and where I'm ending that must be pi. Why is that? Because our our period was pi. Then I'm gonna go down on the opposite direction here one more time. And then here like this. And if I would continue that will be equal to negative pi. And then I'm going as low as negative 3, as high as 3. 
All right, so that will be my sketch of the uh, y equals 3 sine of 2x from negative pi to positive pi. All right, how about the next one, tangent? Uh, one thing about tangent is that we have to remember when they, are, uh, when they have vertical asymptote. That's equal to pi over 2. So then let us assume that uh, two boxes are pi over 2. And then next one becomes pi. Next one becomes 3 pi over 2. And the last one is 2 pi. Then here, we know that our graph would have been First, uh, 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 in first quadrant, tangent is positive, so we know that we are going up this way. And then, to match that, it would have been coming down this way and going up for tangent. On the fourth quadrant, the same thing as second quadrant, so all the values are negative. So there it goes. That becomes our tangent graph. All right, with this one, we're going to stop, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.